Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Terraria uh, Expert. Between episodes, I got a bunch of stuff. We, uh, I, I was very incredibly lucky on grinding for stuff. Uh, but before that, we have Terraria Official in the chat. Just showed up. It is actually somebody who works for, uh, for ReLogic, which is completely random. I didn't tweet this at them or anything. They're just here, and that's pretty fucking cool. You can see them right there in the on-screen chat. Um, so that's pretty cool. How did you get the name Madrybread? It's funny, so many people have been asking that in the last, like, three days, and I don't know why. Um, it's, it's just a series of noises that became my nickname in high school, and that is how you spell it phonetically. It's, it's not even three words, it's just one noise. Anyway, um, we're about to fight bosses. I think we're honestly ready to just fight all the mechanical bosses right now. Um... So, let's, uh, load right in, and it's pretty much the perfect time to immediately get in a fight and not have to worry about time. So I'm gonna rush to do this a little bit here. Alright, we got all of those. Celestial Spider Queen Staff, right? Because I made a Spider Queen Staff. Uh, I made Spider Armor, which is what we're wearing right now. I got incredibly lucky and got an Onyx Blaster because for whatever reason I was getting astonishingly lucky on the uh, Dark Shard drops while I was just grinding to get the Golden Shower um, spell, which is the one that you guys kept asking me to get. Uh, Unmoraldi asked if I have a beginner guide for Terraria. No, but I have a seven great tips to improve at Terraria video, and it's more so geared at beginners than experienced players. There's probably nothing in there that really experienced players would be super into. So I also got, uh, I also got these Shadow Flame Knives, which are pretty cool. They bounce around a lot. I like them. Uh, I got that because a goblin army attacked me, and I won. So I got that. Um, either in that, I think those are all the big things I got, but that's actually quite a bit of big stuff right there. And I, I have a Crystal Storm, which I believe we had the last episode as well. Um, I'm gonna drink some of my potions here to get a bit stronger. And I think we're ready to just jump right in on the mechanical eye. Let's do this. We we did decent against him last time, but not amazing. So I'm not gonna be able to read the chat a whole lot during this, but uh, don't worry about it. Okay, I do need to be more careful about being hit because my armor is not as defensive as before. I wish my spiders would get on him but uh, they're not doing the best job in the world. It's not exactly the best uh, environment for it. Would maybe the knives do better? No, all right, I gotta, I gotta give, apply the effect to them first. There we go, that's what I should have been doing because that cuts their defense. And for the sake of safety here, let's just do that. Uh, it got our nurse killed, but we healed. I probably would be doing a lot better in this fight had I not immediately forgotten about my spell that I spent so long getting. I'm doing okay so far, but honestly, I'm not sure if this is gonna be a winning fight. I'm not doing great, I gotta say. This is uh, pretty pathetic. Yeah, this is bare. I'm barely doing better than yesterday. Maybe I'd do better at a different boss first. That or my summoning armor just wasn't a good choice here. Maybe if I had done that with my mithril armor, I would have done better. Because my my uh, summons really weren't cutting the mustard on that. Knives are very good. They are, but I don't think this is the right boss for them. Apparently, these, the knives are good against the destroyer. Um, oh, I can't quickly heal. I was about to talk to the- I forgot the what's-her-face died. The, uh, uh... What do you call her? Uh, the nurse. The nurse just died. Which is a real shame, because she'd be really nice right now to quickly heal. I will just stand right here, where I've got both of the health bonuses. Twins always give you trouble? Yeah. Time for a better arena? Maybe. It's funny, people keep telling me the Destroyer is apparently the hardest one, um, which is the Worm Boss. I don't remember him being really bad on the normal difficulty, but that was the normal difficulty, in fairness. Uh, 
Um, but you know, I got like a lot of things that hit multiple parts. I've got my frost brand, I've got golden shower, I've got my spiders, I've got my shadow flame knives. I think I'd do okay. You'd wager mithril armor would have worked better? I think mithril armor probably would have worked better on that boss. On the destroyer, I could see either one being a better idea. I'm not I'm not quite sure about that. You found the destroyer to be the easiest. You know what? Why don't I take a crack at the destroyer now? I have the stuff to make a few things. Kill the destroyer, get souls from Mega Shark? Maybe. Maybe that's a winning move. I don't know, but this Onyx Blaster is really good. I don't think the Onyx Blaster would be good against the Destroyer, though. Well, you know, we have someone official from the company who made the game here. Whoever's running the Terraria official account, what do you recommend? We're ready for any of the mechanical bosses right now. At least, like, I'm able to fight any of them at the moment. I'm gonna take a crack at the Mechanical Worm, but I'm interested to see what your, your opinion is. Um, all right, we don't have our bonuses, right? Because I, I drank the potions, but I died. Let's go get our bonuses. I'm happy with trying the summoning armor on this one. Here we go. And an iron skin and a swiftness. And I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, it's, uh, what is it? Uh, what was I gonna do? Right, summon Mechanical Worm. It's actually okay against the Destroyer because the main shot does splash damage. Really? Okay. Okay. Destroyer first? Okay. I'm gonna give that a try now, right now. You know what I should have done? I should have said, to prove, oh, uh, looks like that that debuff doesn't work on Destroyer. It is actually getting some decent damage in, though. Wow, he hits hard. I do not like this arena for this. I didn't think this one through. Nope, that, I, I don't know why I thought Unicorn might have been a good move there, but no. This is probably a death. Whoa, that leg spike. Yeah, that was a death. That was stupid. Um... How do you get the plants and herbs for potions? Uh, you find a lot of them in the wild, but then you can make planters to grow them easily at home. Expert mode is head does over 250 damage. Jesus. Okay, destroy can't be debuffed. Yeah, that was a bad arena for that too. I should have made a more vertical one probably. Um, I mean, I could work on that right now. Yeah, probably a more vertical arena. You know what I should have done though? I should have said, if you want to prove that you're actually Terraria, the official Terraria staff members, uh, go make a tweet about my stream on the official Terraria uh, wiki. Wiki? Uh, Twitter, I meant. That's what I should have said if I were good at self-promotion. But I'm not. I've only been doing this full-time. I've only been doing YouTube and streaming full-time for eight years now. So it's not like... Uh, I have anything. I just liked your pinned tweet from our account. All right, I'm curious. I gotta check. All right. Check. It's official. It's got the check mark and everything. Hundred ninety thousand followers. That's fucking cool. How much do you? How much time do you guys spend? Just like, do you, do you just occasionally go to random people streaming Terraria? Is that just like a thing you do sometimes? Because that's pretty cool. The fuck are they attacking down there? Hey, you, drop a black lens. Because I want the optical staff at some point. Get get over here. Get over here. Die. Die. Did you drop one? No. My luck. Wait, what's that? Moon charm. Oh shit, this is the one that turns into werewolf at night. I remember grinding for that last year. Yeah, I remember grinding for that last year because I mixed it with a bunch of other things. That's awesome. Lucky me. Right, I need to make more wooden platform. Yeah, the community manager, he spent about 10 hours a day uh, kicking around on Twitter, YouTube, stuff like that, checking out thing, all things Terraria. Hey, you might have bumped into my Let's Play at some point. I did a Let's Play almost exact, well, it ended almost exactly a year ago, a little bit more than a year ago where I just played through the whole game. For whatever reason, it got the top result on YouTube for uh, Terraria gameplay. So you might have bumped into that if you're just looking around on YouTube and stuff. I also did a seven great tips to improve at Terraria video that people seem to enjoy. So there's that. 
Neptune shell, that's it. Yeah, and I remember I needed something else, and I'm guessing that's it. We're gonna need some more wood soon. God, I never have enough. Now, I don't know if this is the most optimal arena in the world. I'm, I'm sure it's not, but uh, it's something. You've seen the seven tips one? There you go. Happy early birthday, um, party K. Combination of items like the sun and moonstones. Yeah, I remember I was combining some stuff like that. It was it was actually a really good accessory. I remember using it for the Moon Lord fight. It's funny, the Moon Lord is one of the bosses that gave me the least trouble, but I get the feeling the Moon Lord is absolutely gonna kick my ass on this difficulty. Again, I have never beaten hard mode on expert, which is why that's what we're doing today. Celestial shell. Yeah, I, I know I need that. I remember grinding for that. Tungsten ore. Hope the nurse comes back soon. Wings yet? Uh, no, but I could go buy wings. In fact, I did buy wings. I bought it from the witch doctor when I put him in the, um, in the jungle. Don't I have wings in here? I think so. I'm just looking for them. I'm a little bit blind. Hard leaf wings. Here we go. I got leaf wings with a plus one defense, which is... I mean, it's not a very strong bonus, but defense is always nice. Um, allows flight and slowly falls. Is that officially better? It's not better than my shoes. See, that's the problem. What's my favorite game? My favorite game is uh, Evil Genius, closely followed by Deadly Premonition. You know what? Um, maybe I want to switch to the Power Gloves, because that's all melee stuff. Either than the plus four defense, which is really nice. I do like the defense. But I could go Leaf Wings for better aerial stuff. I do still need my shoes, because I definitely need that movement speed, and with my Targe, I can go straight to max speed really easily. But I have some serious, like, aerial capability if I've got the wings. See? And I still don't have fall damage, because I have my balloon with the horseshoe. I got a lot of things like that. You can always equip both boots and wings. Yeah, I was just trying to think about like, what do I want to get rid of? I've got really high defense gear. I like to have warding on almost all of my gear. I have a warding worm scarf, which man, reduces damage by 17%. That is strong. Um, maybe I drop the warding obsidian shield. The knockback, I don't care the most about on these boss fights. Fire block, I don't need to worry about. But at the same time, it's a grand total of plus six defense. And that really is a lot. Um, hard lightning boots plus one defense. I, maybe I want to reforge that a bit. Oh, I got a green slime banner. I do not need that. Um, guarding shield of Cthulhu is plus two defense. And then a two natural, so that's four defense. Which I'm pretty happy with. I'd like to get that warding, but uh, I think it's quite expensive to reforge. Look at my spiders. What are they doing? The balloon is the next drop accessory in your opinion. I'm thinking about it. See, the thing is, it's armored, which is three defense, which is pretty solid. And it does increase- it, it does also negate fall damage. But don't my wings do that? Do wings get rid of fall damage? I actually don't remember. Chat, remind me. Nope. Oh, landed right on him. Wings do that passively? I think that is the next one to get rid of then. Maybe I have some accessory in my storage here that I'd really rather have. Let me remind myself on what accessories I have available to me. I know I have a shackle that's really high defense. I have a warding shackle, which is five defense. And yeah, it's not the most impressive thing in the world, but defense is defense. I mean, I'd rather have five defense than three defense. I'll put it that way. And with how mobile I am already, maybe I get rid of the balloon now. Do you need to hold space to glide? Yeah, you can hold space to glide. Let me switch those out. Okay, so that gets my defense up by two. What else do I have available? I, I got some angry shackles. I don't care about that. Um, hmm. Magma stone. And bone glove. I got a lot of like really low level movement things that I'm not that interested in. Rod of discord is cool. Although that's just like a, that's not a accessory. Hmm. You know what I wish I had was, uh, was it the star necklace? Oh, gold squirrel. I'll go catch that. Was it the star necklace is the one where you have, uh, longer invulnerability after getting hit? Because, man, I, uh, spider killed the fucking golden squirrel. 
Um, because I want that one. Rod of Discord's ridiculously powerful. Doesn't take health, though. Um, yeah, I want, uh, oh, let me, let me catch this. Oh, there's a golden bunny. Don't kill it this time, spiders. Please, please, don't kill it. There we go. Beautiful. Are you going to stream Civ 6 expansion when it comes out? Yes. Canada's going to be in it. First time that's happened in a Civ game. Mostly because we're bland and uninteresting and nobody likes Canada. Only if you used it while in chaos state, which is active for six-ish seconds after using it. Cross necklace, thank you. I want a cross necklace. Because I remember that being one of those things where when I used it on my other file, I looked at it and I'm like, ah, not that interesting. And then I used it and it was so much better than I expected. So I definitely want one of those. That requires fighting mimics though and I don't have the most reliable way of fighting regular Mimics. I know I can, like, best game related to CK2. Uh, Europa Universe House 4, Stellaris, Hearts of Iron 4, stuff like that. Um, yeah, Cross Necklace is really good. I want a Cross Necklace. But uh, if I can farm for that, I don't know how. So that's the situation I'm in. Let me just relocate some of this stuff. I'd like to move it up here a little bit. Let me just grab that piece right there. There we go. Stellaris is awesome. Stellaris is pretty awesome. That's a fun game. I'm not even a big sci-fi guy, and I think that's a great game. Chest mimic statue drops the items. I don't think they do. That feels exploitable. Terraria official. Do you have any input on that one? Also, what the hell do I call you? Because calling you Terraria official every time seems, we like, really impersonal. Nope, never mind on chest statue mimic drops. Safe man? Got it. The question was, um, if, if chest statue mimics drop items and I said probably not because it would be really exploitable being able to farm mimic items through just having like a chest hooked up to some wires and whatnot uh you know well it's daytime uh I should get some why did he go there right need the clother okay uh I am going to go get some uh wood in the immortal words of anybody using Taunt 6 in multiplayer uh, Age of Empires 3, I need wood. This is a really good show, everybody. Let me just... Now this is pod there you go. Mimics from statues don't drop loop. Yeah, I figured. It'd be too exploitable. People would farm the shit out of that. It, it would kind of take away the fun of that sense of like uh, excitement you get when you see a mimic. Because I don't know about you guys, but I get excited when I find a mimic because I know that, you know, if I can kill it, which like some of them, like the hollow ones I got issues with, those guys are tough. But if I can kill a mimic, uh, probably gonna get decently good loot in early hard mode. I think it's four, you don't remember those commands? I thought it was six. I was fairly sure six is uh, I need wood. You've watched all the episodes of my previous Terraria gameplay. That's awesome. I hope you enjoyed. I figure you probably enjoyed if you watched all like 52 episodes or whatever it was. We're just cutting down some wood right now so I can make more platform. Hey, safe man. Do you know if there have ever been talks on uh, increasing the rate at which acorns become trees? Because I don't know if it's just my bad luck, but man, I planted so many acorns in this file and they just never grow. It's the slowest thing in the world. And I don't know if that's just me being wildly unlucky or if the game just like, I don't know if, if they just grow really slow. Uh, Daedalus Stormbow, dropped from Hollow Mimics is ridiculously busted against this right. Yeah, I remember, I've been looking for that, but you know, it's hollow, it's hollow mimics, which I can make, but 
They're a really hard fight. Uh, are you planting them four blocks apart? A decent amount of them, yeah. Do they not grow if they're within four blocks of each other? Because I bet you I've got some overlap there that's stopping some of them. Like, most of these are four blocks apart. Now, I didn't always have this thing overhead in case that's messing with it. Yeah, most of these, I'd say, are four blocks apart. Not these ones. These ones are a little too close. A decent amount of them are. Have you tried planting them next to water? It's party K. No, I haven't thought to do that. They don't grow if they're uh, placed too close to one another. Okay, I'll spread them out more. Maybe I just have them too close. Uh, it is... Ah, God, I thought it was a little bit closer to night than this. Okay, we're gonna keep working on this then. Well, people on YouTube later are gonna find this episode probably really fascinating. Hearing from uh, Safe Man in the chat there. Water doesn't make a difference? Okay. See, this didn't kind of this didn't feel like the kind of game where water would make a difference, you know? Alright, let me build this up a little bit. Here we go. Now, again, I don't know that this is the optimal arena or anything. I haven't done any research on the kind of arena you want to do for this. Um, but this is what we got. Oh yeah, so that was another thing I wanted to ask, uh, safe man. So we've got, uh, we got spider armor, and we've got mithril armor, specifically melee mithril armor. And we're fighting the, uh, mechanical bosses right now. What, what would you say? I got spiders on hand as my best summon. Either than that, it's just, like, the imps, which... I, I find the spiders to be a lot better than the imps in general. What do you, what do you think in between going a summoning build and just having a lot of defense when it comes to this. Four is wood, please, says Jetstream. Okay. Who do you think in this will win the sub war, PewDiePie or T-Series? Well, I mean, I, I don't think it was ever a contest of who's going to have more subs. Obviously, T-Series will have more in the end. It's about how long can PewDiePie stay ahead. In the question of how long can he stay ahead, I'm gonna say less than 30 days from now before he gets surpassed by T-Series. Alright, let's get, um... We're getting pretty close to when we can fight the boss again. So let's go ahead and, uh, withdraw our stuff. And make another one of these mechanical, um... Actually, for a mechanical worm, we need Souls of Night. I think that's the one that I want to really try at. Because I did really poorly my last attempt, but I think if I really practice it, I can do that one. I remember last year I was disappointed you never fought the Tavern Keeps boss, Betsy. Maybe fight her this time? Yeah, sure. She's after Golem? I can do that. I didn't know about that. You don't have the slightest idea what T-Series is? Uh, it is an Indian channel, like a media conglomerate channel kind of thing. As far as I know, they put on good stuff. Yeah, they do a lot of music stuff. Let's, uh, okay. I want to do... What am I missing right now? I need vertebrae, right? Let me go get vertebrae. I've got some. Uh, God, I still have a dark shard left over, even from crafting. I got so lucky on dark shard drops. Okay, I've got the wings. That should help with my mobility, because I was having some issues there. Um, here we go. Mechanical worm. You know what? Do I want to make more than one? Yes. Yes, I do. I'm going to make three. Not just because I'm totally going to mess up, but even if I don't, I want to make sure that I'm ready to fight him again. Because maybe I want to get multiple drops from this guy, you know? Girly man. What, me? Let me get some more light on here. It's probably going to be really hard for you guys to see if I don't put more light. Heart lanterns in your arena? We got one. I could probably use more. I do actually, um, I've got the stuff to make more now that I think about it. Maybe I should have more heart lanterns in here. And campfires. That's a good suggestion. It's a reference to an Indian music video called Girly Man. Oh. And a summoning potion? You know what? I don't have any summoning potions, I don't think. I've got a decent amount of reasonably useful potions, you know, endurance, iron skin, swiftness, stuff like that. Um, don't think I have any summoning ones. 
Maybe I should be switching from summoning armor to my mithril armor just for the sake of defense. Increases your minions, that would be good. I think the minions were actually doing pretty well on this boss, weren't they? Let me go on the wiki real quick. And just open up another tab here, and I'm gonna search uh, summoning summoning potion. Uh, I don't have a lard fish. How do I catch that? That is underground cavern, underground and underworld jungle. Okay. And what else do I use in that? I also use bottled water and moon glow. Okay, well I'm growing moon glow. Uh, I can't go making that potion right away without a bit of farming, but I'll definitely keep that in mind for later, because that sounds like a useful one. Um, okay. So, let's... I'm gonna take another crack at this now. Let's, let's just see how ready we are. Let's get a few potions here. I made sure to stock up. And I've got the stuff to make more of these if I start to run out. Uh, because I probably will start to run out to some degree. Okay, I'm happy with just those few potions right now. Helps if you stay summoner. I think I might stay summoner. Um, you know, I'll switch around for whatever is most convenient to some degree, but I'm kind of digging this summoner thing. I did melee last time, and that was fun, uh, but I felt uh, useless on a lot of bosses, or at least I felt like I basically couldn't use melee on a lot of bosses. Um, I felt like I was mostly good at collecting resources, honestly, because regular enemies didn't do much to me. Okay, uh, let's set a turret right there, and let's go ahead and summon. I think we're, did I deposit the worms? When I quick stacked? I, no, no, they got put up here because I didn't have them set like that. Okay, it's gonna say, uh, okay. I'm gonna start right here. Actually, uh, let's move this just slightly. There, I'm more likely to be within that thing's range. And you know what? Uh, make another campfire at the top. Just, just in case. Play it safe, you know. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna summon this thing. Okay, so I can't debuff them. Maybe these flame knives? Oh, they're bouncing around on them. That might be good. I don't know if that's like the best thing I could be doing. Maybe my frost brand would be better. I should also be worrying about this, shouldn't I? These enemies. Wow, I have a lot of dying NPCs. You know what? Maybe a heart reach potion would have been good here. They're dropping a lot of hearts. And God knows I need them. Whoa! The head got me there. The head did a lot of damage. Golden shower? Is it really strong enough to be worth it though? Cause it doesn't debuff him. Man, this is going so much worse than I thought it would. I thought I was ready for these bosses. I upgraded my gear so much. <coughs> okay, I've got my uh, summons back. I don't think golden shower would have been good enough there, would it? What about your sickle spell? The sickle spell is kind of outclassed at this point, isn't it? It doesn't? Yeah, Breadstick, we got we got uh, one of the devs here, or community manager rather, and they said that, uh, was it was it them actually, or was it someone else who said that it doesn't work? Whatever, it, it didn't have any visual effect. You can't debuff the destroyer. And I don't think it's got the raw power to be worth using. Yeah, it only does like one to five damage per tick. Doesn't it stay in place while he moves through it, though? Doesn't what stay in place while he moves through it? You know what? I'm gonna switch to Mithril Armor. I don't think that the spiders are really doing much here. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm gonna just try with the Mithril Armor. I've got much, much, much more defense this way. Do I have any heart statues? Uh, I don't think so, but that feels like cheating to me. I'm not doing that. I know that strategy. I'm not doing it. I, I, it would just ruin the fun of the game to me if I were doing that bullshit where you just spawn a bunch of hearts on you. All right, let's make some iron skin potions. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna just jump right back in there. Take another crack at him. 
Okay.